Hello, my name is Creostix, and welcome back to Dovetail Euro Fishing. And this time I checked, at least now we have that uh, settings where the simulation speed is one day is one hour, so it's the fastest one possible. The day length is still long, and uh, let's this time put the, put the weather conditions as clear skies, just so that we don't get rain again. We, we've had that like twice in in a row but this time we will be starting at 10 so it's a later starting time so we will uh reach a later moment in the day as well so we have a bit of a you know a bit of a different time spot to work in so so we don't start at 7 a.m we start at 10 and uh indeed i haven't had the chance to read comments yet for the last video for example but after this i'm gonna uh probably have a bit of a break from fishing to see if there's any feedback on like you know what's the like what do the viewers wish to see about the about this like is it going to be like more foundry dock or a, 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 a different lake we've, we've all, all, all already been on or a different fishing game which is hopefully not too costly or is a free-to-play game maybe or um, or indeed an, a, a completely new lake that I would have to then probably buy because they I I, I don't think there's, fli there's free DLC to this so okay so from all the spots we've been in I want to say that this one would probably be the most interesting. And I don't think even in my practice runs I've been on the upper right. So there's an interesting thing there. I thought I saw a peg in this area. Or is it... Oh, sorry. It's that one there. Yeah. Oh, and we have some 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 lovely pillars to our left there. That's some cool cool architecture going on. I didn't see that before. I didn't realize that, the, that, the, that there was more pillars, huh? I just never just paid attention, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, so this time let's see if we can we can have a a, a smaller um, um, scale fishing where I'm trying to have the fishing rods go into this u-shaped area in between that boat and that pier so then we have a bit of a small but sweet area to try to uh, do this in so uh again let's see if we can put the put the uh tiger knot there very good and i think i can just cast this if i wanna but let's short cast it because why not right short cast as far as, as as it goes so not very far but you know 10 meters in that direction on the left there and then we again go for the casters thing in here but this time we went for the eight last time let's go for the six hook for the casters bait this time just as a test to see what happens and go over there right in the middle there and the other one is the large sweet corn double, which is a perfectly fine thing to have there. And this one we'll put right in the middle of two. There we are. Just see how that works out. So they are a bit jumbled up, but that doesn't usually uh, cause issues. I I find that even if they're jumbled into one spot, where they do still get fish that eat them. I think. Either on video or in my practice runs of the, again, the the river-like lake with the brownish water and the and lots of catfish. I, I believe I put there all three in the same spot right next to me on the left. And they all got, got stuff that they got started, like, biting. So we should be fine. And again, we don't know. Maybe there's not going to be any fish. Who knows? You, you never know. But there's probably going to be some at some point. But indeed, you never know. Sometimes the fish just start eating immediately, and other times it takes 15 minutes. I, I think the not the last one, but the one before that took a pretty good chunk of time in the end. Like, uh, mm, what was that? 
just under 10 minutes or like maybe eight or something I'm not sure let's see how far we can go and also it's kind of curious how the pier actually doesn't uh, connect with the wall here so we have have this bit of a it almost looked a, looks a little hazardous I feel in this way like easily one could fall in to that gap but Maybe I just don't know what I'm talking about. Who who knows? But we have a fish, and immediately again the tension. I forgot, but yeah, there we are. And we have immediately all three are going. Yeah. Okay. So I think number three is uh, was the one that started moving first. So I'll go to number three first. Also, I think three is the caster's one. So it could be a. Uh, um, well, at least something different from from the usual, if nothing else. But that's also not a given. We'll see how it goes. But let's see if we can reel this one in and uh, make it just come to us and be catalogued all safe and sound, mind you. And that good stuff. Come now. We're kind of in a hurry with the other fishies here, so if you could please just... Just, you know, cooperate just a little bit. And, yeah, as I've mentioned before, uh, it's very likely even that we might miss at least one of those other two fish because they all went so, you know, simultaneously. So we'll see how it goes. But, uh, come on. Come to Creole Sticks. It'll be just fine. Come on. There you are. And what are you? Carp is the most usual one, and again, uh, common carp 9.96. So, number three rod, go. Come on. Give, 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 give. And reel in. Oh, oh. It was really tense for a moment. Come on. There you go. Right, the, the line is going a bit through the... Geometry of the of the bus boat there, but uh, you know details details uh, This lake does that a bit more than the other places where it has, has some obstacles and sharp corners with which is to have the line go just through it, but you know details details The important bit is to just you know reel in and catch the fish and be fishing and Taking the deep breaths of relaxation. That is the important part. Okay Come on but I, but I would still love to get the other fish if I could, just saying. Just saying. But again, it could very, very likely get away. The one in the number, uh, ooh, two rod? One rod? Two rod, yeah, okay. Uh, come on, nice and smooth, just don't trash around too much. I'm reeling it in all, all, all the time, just trying to keep it steady. Ooh, careful, and there you are. Nice and easy. And you are a common carp of 7.5 kilograms. Not too shabby. And... Will we get the one, the last one? Looks like yes. I very, very, very rarely lose fish by the time that I've gotten the uh, tension bar to, you know... Uh, respond to my movement, let, let, let's say. So, um, it has happened, I think, oh, once or twice on video, I think. I'm not even sure if it, if it has happened outside of that. I mean, it, now that I'm saying that, I, it, 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 it probably has, but it's very rare still. I don't remember a specific time that it would have happened outside of the one or two times on the video I did. Hmm. Well, we'll see. But again, my my, mem my memory also isn't the best of the best, so I could be forgetting an important one. That's perfectly possible. But nonetheless, we didn't miss any of the three, assuming that I do get that. It's let's. It's always best to not assume too much. It's the moment you get too confident is the moment you lose the fish. That's that. That's just stay calm, stay cool, and stay focused enough to uh, handle it with. Uh, Relaxed heart, so it just comes nice and smooth. There you are. There you are. Very good. Let's see. And you are a mirror carp, I think, with the large scales again. 
A yellow white one. Hmm. With 8.43 kilograms of weight. That's not too bad. Okay then. Uh, well. I wonder if I, if I could put it on the front there. Just next to the boat. There you go. And see if I would put all the... Oh, wait, I did the wrong one. No, 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 that, that, or, I think that's the right one still. It just, is, it, it is a little, yeah, yeah, it, it, it is in the water, it's just a little missing there. Just, just right there on the nose there, that's, that's, that's good. And the third, yeah, the third one is the last one. And in the same-ish spot, I just want to see how that goes. Just beyond the pier, yes, good. Or beyond the pier on our, like, on the front there, you know, not not the pier on the, that goes across. So that's those three. Because, you know, sometimes small scale fishing is more, is more interesting because you just, you, you focus on the little details of, of your surroundings a, a bit better. Like on the, I wonder if I can see inside the boat. It's a little dark. I don't know if there's geometry in there. Like seats or something. I'm not sure. I can't see. It is very dark in there. Maybe it's a ghost boat. Mm. Maybe, but maybe the, but maybe they are helpful ghosts that are giving you know us good vibes to get good and lovely fish. Let's just see. And there's a bit of a you know a feeding uh, circles on the on the on on the right there. So maybe they the boat is oh. You've gotten all the way here, huh? Well, let's just let let's let let you be there. It might be the exactly correct spot to be in. Who knows? Who knows? And there's a different boat of a different color, apparently. It's oh oh, we have a, we have a bite in number one, large sweet corn double. Oh, and number two as well, I think. Okay, and just be very careful, not n not too many sudden movements. Let's just uh, reel it in, nice and smooth, through the boat, but still nice and smooth, yes. There's a very sharp line that it cuts through the boat like, like, like a hot knife through butter, yes. Um, and let's just see if we can get it. I haven't lost a fish for a while, even like in 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 any form in, in this game, in that even the, the ones that have been on the hook, but without attention for a long time, I've still gotten, but that doesn't mean it, it's not gonna happen. Just always be ready for the notion of that could happen. Also, that's a that's a pretty strong trash there, Mr. Fish or Mrs. Fish. I'm not sh sure if they if they differentiate the genders. Well, I mean, not, not, sorry. Obviously, fish have different, have, have different genders. I mean, I'm not sure if they matter in the game. That, 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 that's what I mean. I see some fin. It looks dark. And I think yeah, the the other rod is going as well. But number two is the priority because that's the one that went first. I don't know. I usually don't see the fin, which tells me that that could be a big one. I don't know. Is it a big one? Oh, it's a catfish of eleven point sixteen. Ha. That's that's pretty cool. I've had catfish before in this place, but it's not very common. That is really cool. Come on, get the tension. There, there you are. And again, I do realize that the number uh, three rod has the caster bait, which could technically speaking have a different kind of a fish than the other ones. But I don't know know that for a fact. I also don't know for a fact that it actually, uh, um, what's the word? Um, brings in any uh, different uh, kinds of fish in the end from the slake than the other baits. I, do, I, I don't know that. Uh, attracts. Attracts is the word I was looking for. I'm... Uh, all, all this uh, summer heat is uh, melting my brain, so I, uh, I am forgetting words. Sorry, I had to... Uh, Cut the mic for a bit because I I felt all sneezy. Rah. Okay. Anyway, this is 
nice and smooth, not too many fast movements. There was another f fish on the left there at the same time when this trashed. Oh well. <laughs> Let's see what we get. We have a common carp of 5.56. One of the smaller ones I've gotten in this lake, I think. But 5.56 is still not a small fish. Especially comparing to the smallest carps of, say, the observatory or some, or some, 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 something though. I think, if I remember correctly, the observatory had some pretty small carp in the end. I think, not sure, but I think so. Hmm. Anyway, let's see if we can catch this one, nice and smooth, and see if just if it's not something. Strange. Because again, it, this is the caster's bait. It could bring something weird. Again, I'm always hoping for that weird roach, but who knows? It's it's probably not going to be that though. And I and I and I welcome all the fish because they give me the tackle points to get the, the lines and rods and baits and hooks and all that good stuff from the shop. So that's good. And again, no sudden movements, just let it tire itself out by, while keeping the, uh, the reel button down on a low enough tension. Let's see what you are. Let's see what you are. Ooh, and small, but that's a pretty cool looking mirror carve. I don't think I've seen one quite like that before, like a, like a dark gray with brown mirror scales. That's really interesting. That's kind of cool. A mirror carp of 5.96 kilograms. Kind of nice. Okay. Uh, as our next course of action, I think I might throw this time uh, lo longer casts right at the edge of our U-shape. I'll just reel them back into the edge of our, of our U-shape here. So that's too far, obviously, but just let it be right there. And number two would therefore go right in, well, the middle of the U-shape, I feel. And the same thing, just reel it back in. It'll be just fine. There we are. And there we go. And then... Let's make it the obvious choice this time, the number one into the left corner there at the end of that pier. Oh, oh. We're at the edge of that pier, let's say. Just reeling back in right about there. Very good. And now we we play the waiting game for, for a bit. Also, all these uh, boats. Last time they they reminded me of the of, of the zoo I used. Oh, I used to visit. Uh, but also, um, uh. Boats do remind me. I'm not sure if I've told the story. It's, it's it's perfectly possible. It's 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 been a long time since I did the first uh, parts of the series, so there could be some overlap in the story. So you know, tell me if there is. But uh, uh, I I I remember one time when when we were uh, you know again we had a uh, rented a cabin. I don't know if it was in Saima or or a different l lake in like the mid Finland area. Uh, but anyway, um, we were f fishing in... Now, I think it was a rowboat that time. We've had both rowboats with just oars, and then boats with both oars and the, uh, like, a back-end uh, um, engine, you know. The small, like, a uh, thing that you you operate with your hand with the handle and, and, and that stuff, so... Uh, it was either or. I want to say it was just a rowboat that time, but I'm not sure. Any, anyway, um, I remember. Uh, I believe it was my father who got got a uh, fish. Uh, I'm now forgetting if it was on 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 like a real rod like this, or 8.17 mirror mi mirror carp, or a um, or just a. Uh, you know the kind of a rod that 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 that's just a line and you, and and you throw it and it just is you know it, that, that, there's no reel in it it's it it, it it's just a set amount of line which is and 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 it floats with the indicator in the 
in the in 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 the water and and below that you have the hook and the worm that you that you're using an an earthworm an actual living earth 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 earthworm. So uh, I I think it's 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 there might be a technical technical term for it, but you know a fishing rod, you know, um, the basic one. Uh, well, a telescope one, but still a basic one. Um, and indeed, he was so excited about the fish that he got that he uh, uh, just uh, kicked his foot just enough that he uh, kicked off the the bottom cork of the rowboat, uh, which was a, a a rather exciting moment because that that means there's a hole about yay size, you know, the size of like a ping pong ball ish. Maybe a tiny bit bigger, but still, on the boat there. And we had uh, both my parents and me. Oh, that's a really interesting looking fish. I'm, I'm, I'm a mirror car, but still. Like, that's a lot of mirror scales. It's like covered in them. 8.1 kilograms. That's really cool. And it's already 17.54. Cool. And any, any, anyway, so... Uh, he was so excited about the fish that he got that he indeed uh, kicked that off. I'm just going to throw this anywhere so that I can get the uh, rod into the water. Just go into the water, please. In the water. There you go. And uh, start reeling that, that in. So, um, yeah. Uh, it, it, it was a pre Ah, damn. You know, I was talking about losing a fish and now it happened. Yeah. That was... There, therefore, not not very well uh, um, attached to the hook then, because yeah, it, it it went immediately, and it wasn't even a tension thing. It, it just got loose. But you know, that's fine. I I, I just didn't get to it fast enough. Uh, it can happen. It's that's that's perfectly normal. Also, where was that? I heard a trashing, but I can't see anything. Hmm. Let, oh, again, quick throw into the water just so that it is there, and take rod, take rod, take rod two, take rod two. Please don't get away. There you go. So, um, yeah. So back to the story. Uh, indeed, uh, it, it, it was a pretty exciting moment when you just noticed that, well, water's pouring in. It, 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 it was me, my brother... Uh, and my parents, all in the same rope, so the, so, and and all our fishing equipment, like the uh, bucket with water to hold the fish in, and all the bait, uh, you know, with like earthworms and and um, and some earth in them, and uh, what else, you know, the the oars, obviously, and all that stuff. So it was not exactly a a, a light load, if you if you will, and. Uh, you see the the water just just pouring in like oh that's um oh well uh, but all is well that ends well it it was a bit of a small shock for just a moment but then we just and I believe uh, we really quickly thought that maybe we we should uh, very quickly just row into the nearby shore which was not too far but it, but, it, but it wasn't like a huge island mirror carp of 6.45 kilograms was that fish there was like a what do you call like a really really small like an island-ish spot like an atoll or some, something but on, but on a, a lake still so it's not an atoll technically but you know a, a tiny bit of, of let's say rock and, and a tiny bit of grass in in the middle of a lake so we wondered about just well, do do we need to then just row in there? Like what do we? But but we just just calm heads 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 prevail, and we just picked up the cork from the uh, from the from the boat floor there, and just uh, just uh, uh, rolled it back in there, and just uh, we're all fine. And had to well obviously uh, jettison the water by hand from the uh, boat, but. Uh, it was an interesting moment, though, still. But we lost nothing. We 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 got the fish we were, you know, <laughs> that a, a dad got on that time and all that good stuff. So we were all well that ends well, indeed. It was still pretty uh, exciting, especially for a small kid. I I wasn't too old back then. I was maybe, ooh, let's say, a rough 
the estimate of 9, 10, uh, maybe, or 8 years old. So, a good while ago that. I hear that oftentimes fish don't usually eat very well at night in this in this game, but apparently I'm having some some pretty co good luck here with that so far. Well, it, it, it it's not night per se, but uh, uh, 10.69 kilogram leather carp, and it looks pretty cool at night too. Um, that's just and the city lights are not really an issue. Not there's a few tiny lights in the in the in, in the in, in, in the distance there, but but not like you know city lights. You know that's. This is actually kind of atmospheric. I like this. Would you like to see an entire episode of just, you know, night fishing, starting at, say, 17 or 18 o'clock, and then just going from 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 there? there. That, that could be pretty interesting. Or or start at 18 or even 19, and 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 and, and just make the passing of time so slow that we're always at that. Pretty much that time spot. That could be interesting. It's also perfectly possible that this might be the last fish of the episode. Well, we have time, and I'm 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 gonna throw the rods in the water again. But it, but indeed, I hear that usually the fish don't eat as well at night. So we'll see if we'll get any more. But before we do that, let's just see what we have on the rod end of this one. Let's take it into our hands and just uh, find out. A 6.01 common carp. Very well then. And let's just throw the things. This time we're in the, sm in the sh short cast again. So let's just put it all on that direction. And just uh, enjoy the moonlight on the, uh, on the water there. And just... Literally, almost exactly on the sm on the same spot. I feel. There you go, and this one to the right of that. There you are. Very good. And indeed, it's perfectly possible that maybe they don't eat anymore. I don't know. It's I. I have very rarely. Uh, done fishing in this game, even on practice runs at this sort of an hour, because uh, I just I, I, I just usually find out like, you know, what are interesting looking spots or, like during the day, so I just, I haven't really thought of that, to be honest but yeah, there's like, like very small, distant city lights, but not like uh, pronounced uh, window lights. There's a few in there, there, yeah, but not in the distance. Not a lot, at least. Like, well, or or, or not pronounced, let's say. There's, like, vague ones, yes, but uh, still. How very, very atmospheric. And I like what the moon looks like. It's, it's, it, it is a very, it makes a, a, a kind of a magical surrounding here. I like it. I very much like it, yes. And maybe the ghost ship will now uh, help us get some uh, lovely fish with some good ghost vibes. Yes, that's just hope for the best with that one. But indeed, uh, when we reach the 30-minute uh, mark, I'm going to just start calling the, ep the episode there. If the rods start going while I'm still, you know, doing the uh, ending monologue, let's say, then I'll still try to get... That fish, obviously, but uh, there's a bit of a splash there in the in the in the in the in the distance. We could still get lucky, but again, it's very very possible that this is the the uh, final moments of this video, and we might and and we'll probably not get any any more fish on this go. But I don't know. I still kind of enjoyed, like just looking at the dark skies and oceans. There's like it doesn't look. As such ominous as it does just intriguing and mysterious I like it I like it a lot I wasn't expecting this but yeah I I didn't think we, we, we would reach a, a clock moment of of like this late of 21 and such but uh, I like it it looks kind of cool but yeah 
Apparently, we are not getting any, any more fishies, but the moonlight was more than worth it. And indeed, uh, I'm going to call it here unless they go off while I'm still monologuing. But I do hope you've enjoyed this. And if you have, please do drop a like or a comment or even subscribe or share if you want to. It would really, really help. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you again next time.